The view through a lens has been photographer Glenn Michaels life. Nothing about retirement has changed that picture except the types of photos he's taking. 207's Beth McAvoy has the story. You've got to be able to just detect motion. Glenn Michaels is on a hunt. You got to sneak in and be prepared to act quickly. To catch animals. You have to be ready. You have to be ready. It's boom. You see me. And bring home the perfect picture. That's what I was waiting for. Every day I go out to try to improve. He's seen the world through a lens for 43 years, yet Michaels is still striving to perfect the art of his photography. You're constantly learning. After college, Michaels worked as a photographer for ABC News. I learned the importance of, of speed, of you have to get a photograph. They send you out to get a photograph. You have to get it. You cannot come back without one. Michael says there's been no better way to learn than through the mistakes he's made along the way. Luckily, it was something that I could go back and do again, but it was a construction site and uh, went through the assignment, got everything great, went to take the film out, no film. And uh, so you do it once. Beautiful reflection in their beaks. I've always loved wildlife, I and mean, it's been a passion of mine. In his retirement, Michaels moved to Brunswick and has adjusted his focus on nature. Particularly birds, I enjoy because they're the most challenging because they're constantly moving. Green hair and right there. He goes out on several shoots a week. They usually last four hours, in which time he will take hundreds of images. You're shooting hundreds, thousands. I shot 400 yesterday here. Now, there's no cost to that. You know, I don't have to process the film. I'm not buying film. And I go through and I pick the ones that I like and the rest. That's the sound of deleting hours worth of pictures. There were probably 10 that I was happy with and maybe two that I was delighted with. He's hard on himself, but it's that critical eye that helped him win a photo contest for the National Wildlife Federation. National Wildlife Federation is the number one conservation group in the country. They have a photo contest every year. It's really a fundraiser. They, you, you pay a certain amount for every photograph that you enter. And so it's a way for me to donate to the group and also to get my photography in with, I mean, the best. I'm not saying I'm one of them. I'm just saying that, you know, it's fun to be with that crowd. Hundreds of photos are entered and in only his second year entering the contest. There was a uh, pelican and the light was behind the pelican, but there was enough light on the pelican so it was well lit. His photo of a pelican at Hilton's head was selected as a winner. I saw that it, water was dripping out, so I tried to time it so that I'd get some water drops. There are four hours for one four hundredth of a second. <laughs> it wasn't until he got home that Michaels knew he had something special. At one of the drops, one single little drop of water, the light had gone through almost like a, it was like a prism. And there was a ray of light coming through that drop of water, which, you know, it's just, it just made the photograph. The surprises are the best part of it. The photo of the pelican will be featured on the National Wildlife Federation's holiday card, along with other merchandise. The greatest joy a photographer can have is to capture something that you can share with someone else that they haven't seen, that they didn't know. While he's honored to have his photo selected, he hopes the message his photos are trying to communicate about nature is what sticks with people. There are people who go out spend their day getting to a place to get a photograph that will change, will, will, will educate you, will influence you, will reach, grab your heart. And I think, you know, that's, that's the kind of photography I like. And Glenn Michael says he's going to keep submitting photos to the contest. If you want to see more of his work, we will have a link to his website on ours, newcentermain.com slash 207. And of course, our New Center Main app. Beautiful, really beautiful, beautiful work. Mm.